Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Do you remember the uh, Andy Griffith Show or Mayberry RFD? Sheriff Taylor only allowed Deputy Barney Fife to have one bullet which he kept in his shirt pocket, not in his gun. Well, Barney Fife has an assault weapon now and an armored vehicle. That's what we saw in Ferguson, Missouri. And we're seeing it in police departments all over the country. Not just in the major cities, but in small towns too. Now I'm all for giving the police what they need to protect themselves. But does Mayberry really need an MRAP? These things are really expensive, by the way. So how do these little towns afford them? They certainly are way too expensive for most small town bu budgets. What's happening is, is the government is giving these small towns grants. That's right, at a time when we're supposed to be trying to cut government spending, we're borrowing money from China so that Barney Fife can drive a tank. All so that the defense industry can make a little more money. And these weapons, these military weapons, require military training, which the cops don't get. When I went to Iraq, <clears throat> one of the things that, uh, that I was fortunate enough to do there was to participate in a training session. And the training session didn't just focus on using your weapon. How to, uh, we, we did learn how to operate the weapon, but we were also then showed um, actual videotape of real events that had occurred in Iraq. And we had our weapons, and the idea was that we held our weapons ready and had to decide when to shoot and when not to shoot. This is an important kind of training, and it's obvious that our police departments need more of that kind of training. Because over the years, it's been pretty apparent that the police a lot of times jump the gun when using their weapons. So, does this militarization of the police benefit us? Does it make us safer? No, it doesn't. We really need to do an evaluation of what the police actually need and are capable of using wisely. Obviously, the Yahoos in the town of Ferguson should have one bullet which they should be forced to keep in their shirt pocket. Thanks for listening.